Nintendo kind of guy. Ice is the complete opposite. He does not listen to game sound. He listens to his music and his music only. Yeah, what is, what is J Wall got going? Is that a little T Swift? He's been bumping this whole time. <laughs> Yeah, I, th I think he's got the T Swift going. He I kid. Th th none of these guys listen to Bieber and T Swift. <laughs> Jay Will just looked at me and gave me a smile. What is going through this guy's head right now? Well, he's got the Brady jersey on. That's a good start if you're looking at uh, bringing your A game. Oh, yeah. You used to rock the Randy Moss back in the day. Oh. You used, to, used to break out that the little throwback. Oh, Madden 17, Randy Moss was the man. Well, I'm hearing this Madden. He is even better than Madden 17, so I can't wait to you know start using him. Well, it's the Minnesota Vikings version of it. I know uh, you don't want to hear that. I probably won't use them then. <laughs> we, Come on, man. What, what are you What are you anticipating in, in this in this game between Ice and uh, and J Wall when we get finally on the field? Once we get into the game, J Wall, he's a very calm, conservative kind of guy. But well, really, both of these guys, they will take the checkdowns if it's there, and they'll try to let the checkdowns open up the deep passing game. So. This game might have a slow start to it, but it might build up very quickly. Well, these are two of what we call the guys from the new school. You know, we I don't know, Skim's starting to get to the old heads. I'm I'm looking this thing up on top of my head. I'm <laughs> certainly the old head. Uh, how, how does the, the younger generation uh, look at some of the older guys in the Madden community? Well, I'm sure they look up to them, but at the same time, that's the guy that if they beat, that ascends them very high. So, J-Wall, everybody's talking about J-Wall after he beats Skimbo. That's got him a lot of cred points, and definitely is in Ice's head that this guy beats Skimbo. He's pretty good. Yeah, he might be his son, but he's <laughs> he's done some duty. We had two brothers that came in uh, earlier in this round of 32, and Suspect, who you just saw lost to Kiv, and Canes uh, was a winner from the Chicago Bears representing uh, the Monsters of the Midway, and Rico caught up with Canes. All right, we're here in the Players' Lounge, and when you're in the Players' Lounge, you get to hear tidbits that you normally wouldn't be able to hear. I got Canes right with me, and ladies and gentlemen, when I tell you the breaking news we're going to give you might shatter the Madden community. We talk about being in crews and some of the benefits of when you're in a crew. Can you talk to us about some of the benefits that Joe Rice has received being in a crew? Well, not only has Joe Rice stolen the offense and defense from top to bottom, he is at a new barber, and he brought a picture of Kiv and said, I don't know what this is called, but please, I need this. Like, I want this. If he, not, not only is he stealing offense and defense, he's stealing haircuts. Wow. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Joe Rice brought a picture of Kiv into the barber and said, I want to look like him. Well, we'll see if he plays like him. Well, that's the big part of it. Thank you, Rico, so much. I mean, you can... <laughs> You feel good, you play good, right, Skim? But uh, hey, hey, that's my point guard. <laughs> Don't talk about my point guard like that, Canes. <laughs> oh, oh man, that's great. Yeah, these guys have been. Uh, well, I mean, he, he's not the only one that steals an offense and defense from Kiv. I can tell you that. Um, oh yeah. And Kiv has really increased his defensive play and doesn't get enough credit. When you look at his stats, Kiv's in the top 10 on defense. So a dominating performance. We're getting worried. We're just minutes away from kickoff over here. These guys are trying to get their uh, their sounds adjusted just right for the game mm. uh, so you can settle in. And you, you can't forego that. No. No, no one at this level is going to be like, no, I'm cool just going <laughs> forward. Like, you got to have your setup. No, you're right. And, and going back to about Kiv's defense. I'm going to be honest. I've been thinking he's been a top defensive player for years. I actually stole his defense in Madden 17, the slant zone, too, and that defense won me a lot of money. So, Kib is someone that everyone talks about his offense. Like you just said, his defense is honestly on another level. Well, Cookie, you've been watching for a while. You'll remember last year it was Goes uh, that had a – I mean, you got to win nine in a row to win yeah. this whole thing. And his journey started out with the Washington Redskins. I was there watching it. Uh, but for Ghost to raise that belt, that was huge. So uh, we'll get your thoughts on it here in a second. But let's let's take a look at here at, at Ghost's journey in last year's club championship. No way. <gasps> the belt. I'm taking it. 46,000 players registered to represent their favorite team. Only the top 32 made it to the club championship final. Just because you've been here before, that doesn't mean you'll make it back. Not even the best of the best were guaranteed a spot. But one player climbed his way back is the defending champion, and experience tells him that winning this title is a daunting task. 
arguably it's probably one of the hardest tournaments to ever win just because it's, it's like a lot of single elimination rounds and very high chances of losing. So making it here this far is very, very special. Holko's got the block! Oh, and he got blocked block. it! He's got rope! And he scooped it! The big things that everybody sees on TV are like the big passing plays, the big runs, but they don't see the little things like the clock management. It's so mental. Everybody plays at such a high level, so the skill gap is so, so narrow. Mariota going deep. He has he Grant. It oh! Ghost is one of the best players in the country, but this is his first time on a stage this big. Goes is our champion. I'm, I'm walking out with it. Yeah, he got it done. It was a road. It was a journey. And I tell you, let me let me get your reaction on this, Cook. He won 35000 last year. That's what the champ took home. Let me tell you how this, this thing's grown. The winner takes home hundred grand uh, three days from now. That's no joke. And you get to go to the Super Bowl. And you automatically qualify for the Madden Bowl. So besides that, just the casual game of John yeah, Madden just, football. Just, just no big deal. So the, here we go. We're about to kick off here between Don't Care About Ice and Mom. I mean, I mean Let's get it's it. Wall, right? Let's M-O-M get it, is going to kick it off to Ice. Both of them said they're going to win for me. Who's going to do it? <laughs> oh, this is going to be great. So they'll get in there and they'll set everything up. Admins say we're good to go. There's the thumbs up. I was fixing to say, let's don't get into let's don't get into coaches. <laughs> I, I saw the coach suggestion real early too. A little end around pass play. <laughs> now, fun fact about J Wall is that he actually switched his offensive playbook from when he beat Skimbo to now. He's now in the Denver offensive playbook. Yeah, he said he liked a specific play out of Denver. I can't remember the name, but. He told me he's actually changed a lot since the last time he's played on stream and, you know, obviously when he beat me. And so I'm very curious to see how he's going to call his uh, t uh, whatever it's called. I believe it's X-Bot. Is that what it's called? I believe so. Hmm. All right, we'll keep an eye out for that. First and 10. Ice is going to have it first. 12, 20-minute uh, game. Five-minute quarters. They're playing salary cap mode if you're just joining us. Here we go. Cookie Boy, Skimbo. And I'm Scott Cole. Let's do this thing. Final game of the day. Jay Wall said his defense has gotten better. I'm ready to see it. He's pinching his line. Actually, I don't know what his D-line are doing. I'm just going to ignore it. <laughs> Vic. Looking. Hits Vic. Woo! Ooh. The click on, baby. Right away, you can tell that Ice is willing to take that drag route if it's there. But man, oh, man, you can't take those hits. There are no injuries in Ultimate Team, but there are fumbles. And you will fumble with those kind of hits. You can hurt a man's pride, I can tell you that. Second and 10 from the 25. Vic. And there's coming from the edge. That's Ford getting in there with a sack. Well, D4 didn't line up offsides that time, did he? <laughs> Out. So that's going to bring up a third and 18. Man. AFC East action. Jets and Patriots. And there's Sharp, nice truck. That's not a bad play because in Madden, you're going for an on fourth down to situation. So you get a gain of 12 yards, and that opens up the playbook for a lot more options on fourth down and six rather than a fourth down and 18. Mm -hmm. We'll see if Jay Wall brings heat right here. He just stays in this three-man rush. Safety's in the box. He might be sending the heat right here. Motion out Sanders here on fourth down. Not there. Everyone's guarded. Gonna have to Got try a playmaker. He's gonna pick up the first down, Superman style. We've seen it all day long. Michael Vick taking off is the true X factor. It's all about what do you put out that quarterback spy? What do you wanna take that extra defender instead of pass rushing him, put him at a quarterback spy? Oh yeah, that's huge. Too many times Michael Vick has run outside and there's been no spy. Someone has to make this adjustment. Boy, we might have a false start here. Yeah, the right guard with the motion. That'll back him up five. Eagle, eagle. Up, up. That's one of those random things. I know you want to fake hike to see if the guy's on aggressive. Yeah, and sometimes that happens. That's just unfortunate. But you do have to see if Jay Wall's going to slip that on aggressive. I mean, 
you're playing for this much money. It's not a pickup game at home where you say, hey, I'm not going to be on aggressive. No, anything goes at these kind of, in these kind of games. So first and 15, he'll take off with Vic again. Gets away from one, but can't get away from Ford. Who is 92 with that instant shed to get Vic? He just saved the first down. <laughs> Who is that? Oh, let me go to my notes. I'll tell you what, though. That's probably the most we're going to see Jay Wall run the ball. He is a pass, or Jay Wall, ice. He is a pass for his player. Everything's guarded. Ooh. You're going to have to put a quarterback spy at some point. Michael Vick keeps on torching the defense. Yeah, I think I should be looking for that a little bit more. He's looking for all his reads, but honestly, he's kind of boxed up right now. So if I'm him, you might be looking for Vic to just take off at any time. More, sooner. Here comes the de this defensive line. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> Third and five. Pick. And oh! nearly. Good read, good read, good read. That's open. That looked open. Uh, J-Wall didn't cap at me like this when I played him. <laughs> hey, J-Wall is confident right now. J-Wall is in his bag. He is making a lot of great defensive adjustments. I love it. Yeah. Here we go. Can he get off the field? Another fourth down. Yeah, fourth and five. Playmaker up. Is he going to try to fit in? Nothing's open. You got to send someone. And he'll throw it across the field oh. and haul it into 25. Man, oh man, he put out the quarterback spy. That's good. The problem with putting out the quarterback spy, you don't get as good of a pass rush usually. He had a ton of time to throw that ball, took his shot downfield. Boy, two fourth down conversions now on this drive. And that one was pulling out the horseshoe. Oh my goodness. He just threw it up, but he threw it up to the right guy. Just outside the red zone. Thick. Will use his legs to the 22. Ice is playing with fire right now. I don't know what he's doing. He's about to get burnt because he just took a hit with Vic. He's thrown two passes that I could say was very questionable. He needs to be grateful that he's at least going to get points out of this drive and not mess it up. One by one, J Wall is taking away everything Ice is trying to do. And sooner or later, nothing is going to be there for Ice besides a Patriots player. That's the voice of Cookie Boy, one of Click our. Click on! Shoutcast Showdown <laughs> winners. Nick did a fabulous job as well today. And hey, <laughs> what is Ice is playing with fire? I know his name is Ice, but man, this fire Eagle, is getting to you, son. Eagle, Eagle. Here comes the third and seven. It's taken up three minutes of the opening clock here on the drive, and Sanders can't get away. And now you got to you got to send the field goal out here, and let's take a look at this again. A little Snickers replay when you're off your game, when you're hungry, eat a Snickers. And right now he's going to have to eat three points. Oh, he's grateful. <laughs> you think he knows that he's grateful that he got into field goal range? 100%. He stood up and told him he got lucky. <laughs> well, now it'll be the first time we see Jay Wall, the man that took down Skimbo. And for punishment, Skimbo's got to sit here and call this game. Oh, I love it. It's fine. It's fine. I promise it's fine. I'm not faking it. I actually really like both these guys as people, too. So whoever wins, I'm happy with. I think that's going to be a Twitter meme. <laughs> this is done. This is fine. This is fine. It's like when Tony Romo had to first commentate his Cowboys, right? <laughs> like, I should still be out there, but I'm here. I'll tell you what, though. You would expect if anybody was going to talk trash, it would be ice after him and Skimbo's game last year. That game pretty much went viral on YouTube. Instead, it's Jay Wall who pretty much called him out for one of his reads. So he's going to set up his adjustments. Uh, will decline the delay of game while he sets up all his audibles. And so now it'll be the first time that we see Jay Wall going to work. Let's see it. I can't wait to see this. I haven't, I haven't seen him play since he beat me. I can't wait to see what he's doing differently that I'm hearing about. He's still in trips. He's still in his formation. Here comes some motion across the offense here on first and 10. He's got Michael Vick. That'll be the field general here for Jay Wall. And he'll just a little check down to Cooper there for a quick five. Yep, oh, uh, Ice is in that nickel normal defense. He's not baseline pressing. He's just pressing the defense. He made. He's making his cover two into a cover three shell, or at least he did the first down. It'll be interesting to see if he mixes it up, or that's what he does every time. So that'll bring up a second and five. 
There's J Wall again, and that'll be enough to move the chains. Once again, J Wall is content with taking the checkdowns, and that's perfectly fine. You take what the defense gives you, and if you keep on hitting those checkdowns, whoop, over the top, you'll have a wide open man. I ain't gonna lie, I'm having bad flashbacks right now. <laughs> I can't lie, seeing him take that check down, I'm honestly having bad flashbacks right now. I noticed you skipped lunch, just in case. <laughs> the way this game goes. I, I, I actually did. Okay. Here's first Pick down, six. quick. Ooh. Oh, man. Ice got away with a couple reads. J-Wall just got away with his first read. Tell you what, both of these guys playing a little bit nervous on offense right now. Someone's gonna have to break out their shell here. So second and six at the 39. Ice took up a majority of the first quarter, but only got three. He's got the comeback route. And Tyreek will hold on at the 46. He's in plus territory. He's perfect, four of four. Four yeah. or four, but it, one of them could have been a pick six. <laughs> Man, but at the same time, though, he's got a great route combination on that left side, either an underneath route or a comeback route. And sometimes that's all you need. In Madden, you know, you might have five people running routes and stuff like that, but sometimes all you need is an A read and a B read. You don't need C, D, E, and F. Make the game simple. It's the best way to play. Well, at the end of one, it is three to nothing in favor of don't care about ice, but Jay Wall is on a drive. Five minutes left in the half. This is his opening drive after giving up a field goal. And he'll start first and 10 at the 46. Yeah, so far, Jay Wall on offense has had all day to throw the ball. You got to think if you're ice, how are you going to get this blitz to come in, screaming at least one time on this drive? You got to make him the least think about it. Does bring a few more there, but there's a nice read to Cooper. And he'll pick up a few. Hey, man. I, I don't want to, you know, beat this point home, but they just continue to slowly check down, check down, check down. But at some point, you have to be aggressive. You have to go out and just take your shot and try to win this game because you keep on checking down, you guys will just keep on kicking field goals. Second and seven. We've seen a lot of Ben don't break today on the defensive side of the ball. And we've also seen a lot of field goals. But we He's got a screamer off the left, left side. Games, and there is Kittle. He's getting to depend on the spot. And it will be a first down. That was a great hot read right there. Ice finally got his defense to come in. Finally come in untouched. Jay Wall with the quick dot. Nice little out route to the right side to his tight end. Jay Wall, six for six passing. Still has not thrown an incompletion yet. Flashbacks. To the air, Vic again. This time it's Tyreek Hill made a man miss. Cookie talked about, you know, going for it, not take the check down. I, I'm not going to lie. I'm loving these check downs. He's not forcing the issue. The last thing you want to do is throw a pick. So Jay Wall right now, he's in this zone. But I think later in the game, something is going to open up down the field, and he'll take advantage of it. So here's the second and three. You can dink and dunk as much as you want, but as long as you don't doink on the field goal. <laughs> it's a chance for a touchdown right here. I know he's going to run an inside zone here. Oh, oh. Man, sometimes it just takes such precision to either touch the back of a lineman or going for a touchdown right there. Yeah, couldn't make himself skinny to get through there. Yep. That's going to bring up a third and one. He's a passer. He's not a runner. No, and he had a hole wide open, just a little off on his run stick. Double, double, double. Brings up a key third and one here. He'll hand it off again, and there's don't up. care about ice. Let's see what he does here. Ice wants him to go for it. <laughs> now we have ourselves a game. Now they're going back and forth, and now we have a big decision here. Ice took a field goal earlier in a pretty similar situation. Let's see if Jay Wall matches him. If I'm Jay Wall, I'm kicking my three right here just because. It's too early. I, just because it, I think it's early, and I think, you know what, you probably dropped about three picks this first drive. Surely you're not going to drop three more. So you think, oh, oh my God! God! Come on! Oh, no! It's loose! Let's go! <laughs> Let's we go. haven't we seen to one today, but there you go. Oh, Jay Wall's oh, got to hold go. the kick meter a little bit there. They put a patch in the game to help that. If you be patient, you're really not going to get it blocked. He rushed it and got it blocked. 
Oh, Jay Wall, that's a bad mistake. It's a block party here in San Francisco. Corner out. And he's wide open. Come on. That's going to be a touchdown for Ice. Come on. There Put we him go. in the spin cycle. There we go. There's the big play. And all it took was apparently a block field goal to get Ice <laughs> into the game. But man, is he up. Come he's on. clapping. And Jay Wall better watch out because. Like we said before, all Ice needs is a little bit of confidence to get going, and then he is on a roll. It's really time to see the maturity of Jay Wall right here. He, I don't know if he's ever faced anything like this. You just got your field goal block. You just hit a one-play touchdown the next time. Are you going to rush? Are you going to go back to, you know, hitting your reach here or there? You get the ball come out of half. I would love to see how he's about to play his next offensive possession. Let's see if he panics or he stays nice, calm, and collective. Well, you played ice several times here, Skimbo. What's it like when the, the little man starts catching? He's a momentum player. He's all about momentum. Once he gets that momentum, you got to try to slow him down. We talked about that before the kickoff. When that guy gets going, you can get on tilt real Ooh. quick. Able to squeeze that in there for a gain of seven. He's still perfect. Eight of eight. <laughs> Yeah, 8 of 8, 52 yards. It's one thing to be 8 of 8. It's another thing, you know, if you're 8 of 8, check down, check down, check down, and, you know, you settle for a field goal, you don't even get it. And I'm telling you, man, J-Ball has to open up this field. See if he opens up the playbook a little bit. Able to pick up the he did pressure, finally. and there you go. There we go. But the thing is, that is why you check it down and check it down and check it down, because... Eventually, Ice is going to go hard flats in that situation. He's going to try to man him up. And then you have Tyreek Hill downfield. They don't call him Cheetah because he's slow. I'm going to be honest. If, he, if uh, Ice has a click on like Mo or Clef, is that a pick? Oh, yeah. Because, because the corner was right there, but there was no click on. A little strafe up animation, turn around, pick that thing pick, off. Click on, get that going on. That might have been picked. He threw it pretty early. So two-minute warning. Got to at least get three here. This is interesting for J-Ball because he could try to take down the clock knowing he gets ball coming out of half, make this a two for one, and potentially go back-to-back -back touchdowns and get the lead in what has been a pretty disastrous first half. A little inside zone action. Got to keep him honest here. And he will hand it off and run cut it back. That'll pick up the first down at the 19. He's in the red zone. Man, for a passer only. When I did play him, I had to say his run stick was not as bad as I thought it would be. He actually scored a couple touchdowns with it. That sounds pretty good. <laughs> but it's good to see him come back to the running game with Eckler because the running game kind of bogged down his previous drive. So you got to stick with your game plan, and that's definitely what J-Wall's doing right now. For sure. You got Cookie Boy, Skimbo, I'm Coltrane. We've had a great day today. He's screaming! Come here! Come here. Oh. <laughs> Only Michael Vick and Madden can avoid it and get a one-yard gain. And he'll pick up one. It'll be second and nine. But, yeah, the heat was coming. Michael Vick is the most expensive cap for a reason, because he is that good. A little RG Madden, a little RG after calling five games today. See him out there in the Twitch chat. He's got a bunch of hitches and curls on the field. He's going to high point something. Come on. 10 of 10 now. He's yet to make a mistake in the passing game <laughs> as far as the stats go. <laughs> now, Ice made a very interesting decision here. He just called a timeout. That's aggressive. He wants this ball back. He wants more points. Let's see what Jay Wall can get himself on the board here with under a minute to go in the first half. This is why you lab right here. What dog do you got, Jay Wall? Looking with me. He's wide open Throw in the back of the end zone. To it's a touchdown, Patriots. You just got Moss. We've been seeing it all day long. In the red zone, Randy Moss is the go-to guy. Yeah, I ain't nothing wrong with throwing that high point to Randy Moss. Yeah, I think sure. this Randy Moss is better than Madden 17 Randy Moss. I'm seeing way too much wild stuff out of this guy. The crazy thing is when you talk about these Michael Vick and you talk about Randy Moss, they did these things they on did. Sundays. I mean, this is not out of the ordinary for Randy Moss. That was a huge play. Uh, it's one, one on one in the back of the end zone. Any quarterback's going to throw that up to Randy. Yeah, put it where only Randy Moss can catch it. It's a good thing that Randy Moss has a very wide radius for catching. 
Vic gives it to Sharp, and he's knocked out of bounds. <laughs> Getting knocked out of bounds saves a timeout for Ice and for Jay Wall, because you never know. Does Jay Wall want to get this ball back? It obviously does, but he needs to get off the field, and that timeout actually helps him, and it kind of helps Ice, too, if he wants to drive down the field. I'll tell you what, if you're Jay Wall, if Ice gets a field goal here, it's not the worst thing in the world, because you get ball kind of half, and you can control your own destiny. They'll throw it over to Cooper. That's a tight window. Now, as I say that, if you give up a touchdown here, which yep. Ice is driving, then you're in trouble. If Jay Walt does the double click on right there, he can get a pick with his corner in a hard flat. So here comes the D-line doing their wiggle. <laughs> you knew this is by design? I had no idea this happened until this day. <laughs> <laughs> There's the check down to Sharp. That should be enough to move the chains. Oh, they're going to count second and inches there, so. Oh, that's perfect if you're ice. You can go for a shot down the field just being third and inches on the next down. Let's see what he does with it. Got to go to the air. Had X on a post there, but it was covered up between the two safeties. And he'll go ahead and get that new set of downs with 34 seconds to go, two timeouts. That West Coast playbook, a lot of, you know, crosses to the left side, wide receiver cross. You don't have your pat sales, but... West Coast bunch, just almost as good as Patriot bunch, depending on how you feel. I mean, Ice is making it work, so. Yeah. Ice is going to look for this corner route. He takes it away from him. Hits the drag. Nice. Mm -hmm. That was a hurt. drop. That was hurt. That was hurt. I, I mean, it's, it's a, a video stick, game. But it's a drop. I mean, either way you look at it, it's a big hit stick. It's a drop. It's second and ten. Oh, yeah, that was a good click on his stick right there. He wants this corner route or the post route over the top in the middle. Let's see if he gets any of them. And there's Does a hit matter. D4 going to work again. If I steps out, steps up and rolls right there, he has a touchdown on this post route. He split the cover two safeties. You think it comes back to the same exact play? If he does, I hope Jay Wall noticed it was a touchdown and changes his defense, but he should. And he's not. Jay Wall will back everybody up and still. Gets the block shed in there. Jay Wall with the timeout right here. He wants the ball back. He wants to see if he can make something happen with 19 seconds left. I'll tell you what, we start off the opening drive crediting Jay Wall's defense. And besides one deep bomb downfield, it's been consistent that Jay Wall has been on his game defensively. And he'll take it from the 24. He'll put him out to the 27. I'm a. Uh... I'm going to the locker room here. You get the ball to start the half. It depends. Do you have something? You got to play. <laughs> do you have a play? This is literally for $100,000 if you win it all. Do you have a play to get there, or do you run the ball and just go into half? This is lab work right now. It's looking like he's going to run the ball, but if you do have a play, this is the time to do it. And also, the time to call it a timeout. You don't got to keep those timeouts going to the Ice. locker room. Yep. He had his nickel normal on the weak side. He was going to do a strong run with the inside zone on the opposite side. No, he's in a pass play. Hey, Randy Moss is one-on-one. -on -one. Give him a chance. He might come down with it. He'll switch the trips over to the left side. 11 ticks to go. He's got two timeouts, and he'll hand it off again. Call timeout. Call timeout. There you go. He must be cool with two runs here to end it. If you pop one off, you do. If you don't, you go into half, and you get ball down three. Yeah, Ice can't stop the clock. Yeah, he's flipping play, trying to mess with his alignment on defense. He's got all his corners and, you know, strong on the left side. He needs to run inside zone right now. And he spread it. He will hand it there off. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Block. Three seconds on the clock. 2-1. He's got to get down. Timeout. He gets it. Oh, man. There was a slight moment of hesitation where he was trying to figure out, could he get down in time? Should he go for the touchdown? And that might have cost him field goal range. You got to spin, move him, and then go down. He did. He got complacent. He kind of, you know, froze a little bit. Ah, Jay, well, you got to be better than that. Well, he's going to have a shot at the end zone here. What more can he ask for? Here's the money play I'm talking about. Do you have one for quarters three deep? I have one. Not going to share it. If he has one, he's about to share it. It will empty out the backfield. This will be the final play of the half. Three-point ball game here. Jay Wall looking to the end zone. He'll uh, check it down with Tyreek Hill. All right.
He's okay going to the halftime. That's what he's saying right there. He's going to get the ball back at the half. Don't care about ice 10. J Wall 7. But J Wall will get the ball to start the second half. Let's check in on the other game with Rico. Hey, thanks, guys. You can see I'm surrounded by greatness, Kiv, Ghost. Canes and everybody, and Blocky and Kwani have been putting on a show. You know Blocky, the defensive specialist he is, but he has a little bit of offense with him too. See those nifty moves? He has his Vic, found the guy open, whoop, spin move. Gets it down there, punches it right in with Shannon Sharp. Good old Shea getting into the end zone. Kwani trying to figure out what to do. You know Blocky and his defense, bend but doesn't break. Oh, got mixed up, but still was able to get down there and get that tackle. And you see, he stuck up for himself, got the pick, saved the seven. As you see, Kwani scratching his head, trying to figure out what can he do? You know what he can do? Give up another touchdown. And that's what's gonna happen, but no! He stops him, holds him for three, and Blocky has taken a commanding lead in this game. Kwani's gonna have to do something to get this second half right. Back to you guys. Yeah, Rico, Blocky, well, it's going kind of how we thought it would go there. A few stops in there. They got a long way to go just in the second quarter. Focusing back on our game now, it's 10 to 7. Don't care about ice. Has the lead. And uh, let me introduce you here. You got Michael Skimbo. You got Cookie Boy making his MCS debut. But if you have the internet, you've seen that man down there on the end. What do you got to say about the first half? I'll tell you what. Both of these guys... They played about evenly, but I really feel like J-Wall should be happy that it's a 7-10 to 10 game because a lot went wrong in that first half for him. What about you, Mike? How does, how does I mean, J-Wall's going to get it first. Yeah. That's key. No, I actually think J-Wall should be up right now. The biggest play was the block field goal. He had momentum. He was going to take three. It's going to be a 3-3 three, three game. He was playing good defense. He blocks a kick and has all, all the momentum. So 10-7 game now. I look for J-Wall to go get seven right here. All right, here we go. This is this is time to get rocking and rolling here. This J Wall. I, I like that you're still going with the guy that put you out of this thing. I got to, <laughs> got to. And I'm okay with that. I I'm, I bet you've had several. I don't know. It's run-ins, the right word. You've had several run-ins with the youngster. Oh, I love ice. ice. So these guys. This is gonna go either way. I think we're gonna have a great finish here. Yo, funny story, real quick at the classic. After I beat Ice, his dad texted him. How's Skimbo doing in the tournament? <laughs> <laughs> he said he checked on him, checked on me before he checked on him. Uh, shout out to your dad, uh, Ice's dad, if you're watching. Much love. That's awesome to have that support from your dad. Oh, for sure. All right, we got a three-point ball game here. Start of the second half. J Wall's going to have it, but he's trailing. Boy, so many adjustments for J Wall. And here comes the scream team. And somehow gets it to Skittle, who'll take it down to 40. That's a dot. I'll tell you what, Ice stacked the box right there. He was going pressure, and Jay Wall was ready for it. George Kittle up the middle. Yeah, I agree. This is two times I've seen uh, Ice's defense come in untouched, and both times Jay Wall with a hot read inside zone. Blown up. Well, he's been unable to get anything going in the running game. Not surprising, but his passing game has looked pretty strong. I mean, he's he's had a few Stevies out there. He's had some some questionable reads at time, but they found themselves true. And that'll bring up a second. Oh, 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 he's got him on the left side. Snap the ball. Let's go up top to Y. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> and he'll take the easy play. You throw that anyway, right? I don't know. His corner did get out there. Oh my gosh, what did he just do though? How did he get his corner to go inside? That, that is a money play if I've ever seen one that he's been saving. Well, that'll bring up a first and 10. He does move the chains here. And Vic will look and throw. And Moss can't make a man miss. We know we got a lot of people out there in the Twitch chat asking about how you can get involved in some of these Madden Twitch drops. Just make sure you link your Twitch account to earn Madden Twitch drops throughout the entire show and really throughout the entire week. We're going to be here every day at 3 p.m. Eastern time. Of course, tomorrow we'll finish up the round of 32 and then we'll move on uh, to that round of 16, all leading to February 2nd, 8 p.m. That's when 
The big show will happen on ESPN News with a lot of re-airings out on the deuce. Ah, there is a oh, boy. That is a tough way to have your first incompletion of the game. That was a touchdown. He T-Rex armed that thing. I'm not going to say Jay Wall is Kiv, but these dots are Kiv-like. Open man, open man, open man, open man. Everyone's open every time he throws the ball. You cannot argue with the results. This is a big third down here, though. Yeah, third and four. Here comes the Come scream, here. and that ball's loose. It would go down as an incompletion, but it was laying on Vic's belly. <laughs> and I said, pick it. <laughs> I just wanted to pick on that play. He said, pick it. <laughs> well, this is to tie it. He got his last one blocked, and he's going quick oh, that's on these kicks. That's just being in the moment. What are you doing? Could you imagine if we brought coaches after quarters? Hey, I they would be phenomenal. Hey, take your time before you kick field goals, man. Like, if you could you imagine if a coach said, like, he's like, oh, my bad. I'm such in the moment. I'm forgetting all about that. I mean, the Twitch chat would cringe us to death on that. But, hey, some of these, especially these youngsters, man, they, they, you need a reminding. You know they know, but you get on the stage here and a few of those mechanics. We even saw it from Clef the God earlier today. Just, yeah, you know, had some management issues. Ended up coming with a win. But he's going to go back and watch some of that and be like, man, there was time. There was so much time I could have used in that game. And so we're tying up 10 to 10 here. Let's focus on that with three minutes to go, under three minutes to go in the third. As J Wall continues to check this ball down, or Ice continues to check the ball down, J Wall is putting some hits on him. There might be a fumble soon. I agree. And he'll throw it away. You know, we, we've had a lot of we've had a lot of great one-liners in chat, but Light Warrior, you see it with the three-digit identifier M O M. Of course, the young man Ice. He says it's time to put him to bed, Mom. <laughs> the Twitch, the chat's just the best. Chat's undefeated. Him. Chat's undefeated. That's all I know. You can't win. Third and five. There you go. And I'm going to talk about this after this play. And Cooper, oh, there it is. it's a fumble. And Jay Wall will jump get up, on. Get up, get up. There Close that fumble. He might fluke back. Come on. Ooh. Good play, though. That's done. That's done. <laughs> Sweet sassy Malassi Look at it again. Oh, yeah. Cookie Boy called this one. Those hurt, man. Those hurt. You keep on taking those hits. The game of Madden rewards you when you put your defenders in the right position. Usually. Let's see if he can capitalize here from the turnover. Oh, and nearly what the gave it right wow. back. Oh my gosh. Jay Wall's expecting his oh, wide receiver on a corner oh. out to cut in front of the ball and go that catch it. Awful. For some reason, he didn't. His safety came and almost freaking got a pick. Oh my goodness. Three straight incompletions after the man started 15 for 15. How does this happen? I compare him to Kiv and he starts doing this. <laughs> The Skimbo Jinx. Second and ten now, Vic. R1. Yes. Oh, nice little comeback to Tyreek. <laughs> Always need that one completion. Get back to your game, Jay Wall. You've been controlling the game for the most part. All he needs to do is get this lead. He needs to play with the lead, and control the game, and he should be the favorite to win with the way he's playing. We're in the AFC East final games of the day. We get started tomorrow. Not a single deep threat. There it is. B. Moss on a deep threat. No. Nope. 3 p.m. That's the start time every day. Looking, finding, and there is Amari Cooper will pick up the first down. <laughs> this man, Jay Wall's offense. When I play offense, I always want to try to have a streak on the field. Jay Wall didn't have a single deep route on the field. Not a deep post, a crossing route, a fade, or a streak. He had hitches and curls on the field. He's continuing to run very simple concepts, but they work. You cannot argue with the results of Jay Wall's offense. Let's see if he goes for Moss up here on the streak. Looking like he wants it all. Here on first down, he'll just check it down the flats again, but picks up some good yardage all the way down to the seven. Now this is where you've got to capitalize. You've got to get your touchdown here. The red zone so tough. Just look for Randy Moss. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Time to see a red zone dot. Let's see it. Look for Randy Moss at tight end, apparently. First and goal from the <laughs> seven. 
Why not? Boy, that is some slow adjustments. Oh, yeah, they're taking their sweet time. We'll see what he dials up with Randy, and he's going to use a crucial timeout. Hate it. I absolutely hate I this. I might throw up. I'll tell you what, though. Jay Wall, the way he is managing this game throughout, he has a lot of confidence in his defense. Constantly taking field goals, calling a timeout here. He truly believes that he can lock up. And we got a little snafu here in the third quarter. Admins will stop him down. And uh, we'll have to re reset everything back up. We'll welcome you back over here. Here at EA headquarters. It was the final game of the day. We were moments away so from finishing cool. out an incredible day. And we've seen some incredible speed. It's tied at 10. 57 seconds left in the third quarter. And Jay Wall has a first and goal at the eight. Yeah, he just took a timeout. Like I said, I feel like he thinks seven wins him the game here with how his defense been playing. So that's why I was mad at his timeout. Now I, I think I kind of understand it. He doesn't want to kick it. He's already had one blocked. He's trying to cash in here. And I mean literally. And he'll check it down, makes there a man is. miss. Touchdown, Jay Wall. Oh my God, a nice little hitch route to the outside. His cloud flat didn't come down to play. He turns up field for a touchdown. Once again, Jay Wall is taking what the defense is giving him. And right now, the defense is giving him a W. This is a $2,500 game of Madden, just so you know. And if you, you move on beyond that, if you win in the round of 16, that bumps you up to 20 grand. You know, looking at how this game has gone, you would think Jay Wall's comfortable. I did watch a game where Ice played against my guy AKG, and he came back, and he was down a lot. He and, was. And he came back, and he won that game. Now, how he won it, he won it. Doesn't matter. Now, I think he's got that in him to go do it again here. He's trailing by seven. Nice opening dot to push him out to the 40-yard line. Plenty of time to go in this game. And, of course, Ice passing the ball pass. I don't think we've seen Ricky Williams take one handoff yet. There's Vic. Oh boy, that is a tight window. Ooh. Seven into plus territory there at the 47. This break might have done ice a little bit good offensively, where I mentioned it right before we had to break that. Maybe he takes his time, thinks through his offense, because this is an important drive. This is potentially a bread drive here. 20 seconds to go in the third. Scott Cole, Skimbo, Cookie Boy, that's the voice you hear on the end. Everything's bad. Corner route, drag, comeback. Good defense by Jay Wall. Jay Wall just continuously seems to be able to but we make almost the perfect adjustments here to where Ice is left to do nothing besides scramble with Michael Vick. And now the quarterback spies on the field. That's not even there. Well, I see AKG in the chat. Big shout out to you. And there's another sack. This time it's by Lawrence Taylor. And this is what I'm going back to. When he was flipping play, you know, the defense would go to the, to the, in the middle so he could roll out. He's reset his defense. He's setting the edge like he thought he should have been all game. So this game might get a little bit different on the defense and offensive side, obviously, for ice. This is a huge third and 15 here to start the quarter. Put your fours up in the chat. This is our final quarter of the day. There's that reset with the press. Here we go. A baseline press. Dion is solo to the right. Quick throw on the wheel, and he'll drop it. Those big hits are still coming through for Jay Wall right now. Fourth down and 15. You know Ice is going to go for it here. This is your play. This is not just your money play. This is your tournament life play right here. And a single elimination. Here we go. Reset. Yes. Jay Wall's doing it. Might be fourth in the game. Can't let Vic roll out here. Looking, throwing, Dion somehow! <laughs> Ice doesn't go for the possession catch or the aggressive catch. He goes for the rat catch and goes upfield. Oh, my gosh. He really doesn't care about ice. Did you notice who was covering him, though? That was Tyrod Taylor out of position. That might have had something to do with it there. Wow. Good eyes there by Cookie Boy. First and 10 at the 25. I wasn't even looking for Tyrod Taylor. 
Yeah, you don't expect Tyrod Taylor to be on the field. Gable likes to have him in there as a blitzer, but there might have cost him on fourth down. So now first and 10 inside the red zone at the 14. Ice trying to tie this thing up. Look for the running back on a will. It's been out for a while, but that route is still very, very good. Vic throwing, and Cooper will hold on at the seven. The hitch high point, something that EMB really started to do a lot when you saw the classic when they got in the red zone. They loved the hitch on a high point. Put it to where only the receiver can catch it. Remember, if you see that stat bar come down, we had a reset in the game, so those stats aren't accurate. But the score is oh, no. Tyrod! It's going to be a pick He's six. He's a quarterback. Tyrod He's a Taylor. He's a quarterback. Cookie called it the Tyrod you Taylor in coverage. Now Tyrod Taylor doesn't have the wheels cooked to take it all the way back to the house, but does come up with a huge pick. Maybe not in man coverage, but in zone coverage, Tyrod Taylor <laughs> might have just made the biggest play in J. Wall's Madden career. Who would have thunk it on defense? And Jay Wall's capping that tell him he's a quarterback. <laughs> well, two former Virginia Tech Hokies. It's Tyron Taylor on defense and Michael Vick on offense. Now keep an eye on the clock here. Under four minutes to go. Jay Wall's going to try to get a four minute offense here. He's already near field goal range. Ice needs to get this drive over with ASAP. I'm not throwing the ball here. I'm running the ball. If I have a good kicker, I'm taking my three. Taking this clock with me. Well, that Tyrod Taylor and just got sold out on the auction house. Anyone that was up there is all gone. <laughs> it's the new meta now. There it is again. What a block. What oh, a spin, spin move. move. He's in the red zone. So let's see if he goes a conservative with ball carrier. You got to, right? It's all about the clock. Well, we're going to try to go up two scores. But he got one blocked before, because that's got to be in your mind somewhere. You also got to hold the field goal a little longer, though. And hopefully he learned that in that break of about, right. you know, 20 minutes of just sitting there. We probably thought about it, hopefully. You mentioned it before, though, Skimbo. j Wall does not run the ball often, boy. He does run the ball. Not bad. His yeah. cutbacks, his stick, it's nice. Not, yeah. It's really not bad at all. Unfortunately, I know that from first experience. Remember, he missed a, uh, a, a third and one on a bad run stick, but the rest of the game, he's he's looked quite nice. We'll see if Ice tries calling timeouts here because Jay Wall, he runs it three times, where at least him the two minute warning. I wonder, I wonder if Jay Wall went to conservative. Yeah, I didn't see. I was trying to look on the side screen here. You know, we can look at both of the guys. Didn't see the adjustment, but he should. <laughs> I would hope. It would change the whole game. He'll hand it off again. Because this, this isn't a top back here. Yeah, no cut this back. This is a scary back. No cut back, no spin move. If you're on conservative back home, when you turn on conservative, you can't do those special juke moves or spin moves. So, like I said, with conservative, all you can do is, you know, out stick him with the left stick. So, I would have to assume he's on conservative right now. Is this now. a 91 overall? Uh, Austin Eckler cost you 60 cap. He loves him. No way he passes the ball here, right? Mm, no. He'll hand it off again. Oh, oh that's a big give hit. Me one. Give me one. If there was ever give a time. If there was Man. ever a time to force a fumble, <laughs> that was it. Users shoot the gap. Jamal Adams in the Jets jersey. Man, did Ice need that. Okay. I got to know if he's on conservative. <laughs> he should have coughed that up if he's on balance. Well, he's going to hold it here. We assume he's on conservative. And there's the 10-point lead. He still could have held it longer. He did it 18 seconds. Try to see if your opponent's going to jump there on the end. Once you jump, you can't block it. If you're not relying on the onside kick, if you're ice right here, you're trying to score before, before a minute and 30, a minute to 40 without using your timeout. If you don't get the onside kick, because you might give yourself a chance with about 30 seconds. Now, that's really hard to do. Obviously, he's probably going to try to score anyways and get some kind of onside kick, but it is possible to do. But he has to score very quick. Quick throw. That's not going to do it. And Sharp will truck a man, but he'll also get taken down by Ed Reed. And that'll be the two-minute warning. Yeah. This is looking like he's just strictly going for the onside kick only. 
if he doesn't get it, it will be over. He might even have to kick a field goal and go onside kick once he gets in field goal range. Yeah, if he gets a big play down the field right here and, a, and out of bounds, 100% you have to kick your field goal. Second and two. Just one timeout remaining for Ice. He jumped out to an early lead, but it's been all Jay Wall. Here in the second half, and there's Sharp again. <laughs> Skimbo is shaking his head over here right next to me. He does not like these checkdowns. No, I don't. This is this is not what you need to be doing in this situation at all. Vic looking, finding. There's Dion. Okay. Can't make a man miss, though. Yeah, he's strictly it's onside kick or bust now. Tyrod Taylor's the jack of all trades. He's blitzing now. <laughs> I'm looking for the next Tyrod Taylor big play. See, we are on our feet here. Trying to close out the day. Skimbo, cookies on the end. Finally went for a big play, went for a post route, kind of had it, just couldn't hang on. If I was a cookie, I'd be one of those cookie cakes. Big, large cookie. <laughs> Third and three. I just bought one the other day. Don't, oh, Tyrod's in the area. And can't get his feet in bounds. Come on, Jay Wall. One more play with Tyrod Taylor, you're gonna make the chat explode. Now this is Ice's tournament on the line right here. Fourth down and three. Oh boy. Yeah, of course. If you're Ice, I mean, I might, I might not even care about taking three early. If I can go get seven, I'll go get seven. I might call a timeout, honestly, if I get a first down here, yeah. just to regroup. In the meantime, the clock is just chewing on this drive. Oh yeah, it's tick, tick, ticking away. This is. Get out of bounds. He's in bounds. Let's see what he does. Tyrod Taylor made the tackle, so he could not get out of bounds. Tyrod Taylor is a goon. Cookie Boy's going to come in wearing a Tyrod Taylor jersey <laughs> tomorrow. It's guaranteed. There's Moss. Let's we'll see if he's going to go for a touchdown or take his three right now. He's got to make the decision right now. He's taking his three. We'll be wrapping up the day after this one. It's been a long one. I know if RG were here, he'd be upset that huh. Jay Wall did not try to block the kick. Yeah, you know he's going to kick it quick. You could time that perfectly. He's not going to hold it on you because of the situation. You have to come out and field goal block there. Well, here's the onside kick. This is the game. <laughs> Your eyes, this is where you pray to the Madden gods. Come through for me one time. It's been a while since I've seen an onside kick recovery. And you won't see one now. Nope. That'll do it. J-Wall doing it for his mom, M-O-M. -M. Mom put the kid to bed. Don't care about Ice is going to come up short here. He's made a great run back-to-back. -back. New York Jets champion. But it's the new GOAT. 